Hey everybody and welcome. My name is Richard Tsi here with Airgun Web, your home for old school airgun reviews and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. We have got the Air Venturi Avenge X in 177 here. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this. This is an awesome gun and I cannot wait to tell you some more about it. All right, so before we get started, I want to remind you guys that we have a Patreon channel. We also have the Officers Club over at airgunarmy.com. If you guys want to help us out, it's like super affordable. It's like five bucks a month for Patreon and the Officers Club, and every little bit helps. So if we can get some people uh, supporting us there, then we can buy product directly. We can also look at some different projects that are outside our normal sponsorship. So anything you guys can, can do that way will really help us out. Again, links will be in the video description. So anyway, let's get on to this video. This video is brought to you by Pyramid Air. Uh, Pyramid Air has been a sponsor forever. <laughs> in fact, they were one of the first sponsors I ever had getting into this business. So thank you, Pyramid Air. And we are taking a look at the new Avenge X. Yeah. This gun completely changes and flips it all over again. The Avenger hit the scene and provided affordability, adjustability, and great performance. And they have just taken it to another level. I know that that phrase is used a lot, but I don't know, what, I don't know how else to describe it. You have a gun that has exchangeable calibers or you can interchangeable calibers. You can interchange it stock. You can change the cylinder to a bottle back and forth. This thing, you can start at this level and just add, change, do what you want. And I think it's your air gun, your way is the tagline for the Avenge X. Yeah, and I get it. And it's not just an Avenger with some fancy, you know, uh, options. I don't know, I, the words escape me, forgive me. Um, it's actually, it just shoots better. The shooting experience is better, let me say that. Uh, it's the smoother cocking, better trigger. Um, it just seems to work really, really, really well. Um, so in our last video, I had uh, like 80 shots. 70 of them were on camera, and then I had 10 that were part of our exclusive content. If you want to guys to want to check that out, again, links in the video description. Um, so we know we can get 80 shots on the reg, and they were pretty consistent. Uh, we did have... Um, yeah, we had this sort of anomaly where like that first shot's like really high and then it sort of backs down. So not sure if the reg's kind of working its way in or not. Uh, when I got it, the reg was at 2,900. Um, when I started to shoot, it immediately dropped to 24. And then uh, as I got through all of those, it had dropped to just under two. So is the reg creeping a little bit or is it wearing in or working in? I don't know but it didn't impact velocities. The velocities were stable. So, you know, I don't want to be just chasing a needle, right? Um, when the results are, <laughs> consistent results is what I'm looking for. So uh, we're gonna do a lot of shooting to see if that sort of settles out. Now, when I filled it up after that, after those two videos, um, it jumped back up to like 23 or 24, where are we? Yeah, it's, it's kind of worked its way actually all the way back up to now as it's been sitting here up to three. I'm going to take a shot, see if it drops. Um, and let's see, that shot. Yeah, so that dropped it down to 24, which is where we were uh, sort of started before. So we're going to just shoot it and see what it does. Um, it was, the velocities were consistent. You go check out that video. So. I don't want to chase that needle, right? I want to just see how it performs on the crony. We'll see how it performs on paper. And speaking of paper, what are we doing today? Well, we've got eight pellets here on the table. We've got everything from the Crossman Premiers to the JSB Knockout Slugs. I haven't shot anything but the 10 threes. So you guys are, are right here seeing this with me for the first time. So yeah, let's load this thing up and let's get to shooting. I will turn our crony on and we'll get crony numbers. It'll take me a little time in between uh, to get things set up because I have to change the pellet weight. So let's do, I'm gonna save that. That was our string from our last one. I had a, like 70 or 60, 60 shots uh, that we um, captured on that whole string. 
Uh, but yeah, that was a lot. Did pretty well. You guys, again, go check out that other video. All right, so let's go to our profile. And we're going to do edit profile. And we're going to change the pellet to a 7.9, 7.9 cross, uh, Crossman Premier Hollow Point. Crossman Premier Hollow Point. Return and general. Um, okay, let's see. That's all fine. Close. They've made some really nice changes to the FX Crony. If you guys want to know what I'm using, it's just the old original FX Crony. I've had this thing for a while. Uh, and it's it's really good. It's not like perfect. Sometimes we miss some shots, but for the most of it, it most of the time, it's very, very good. So let's do a new string. So I'll have to reset that in between each because each pellet weighs differently. So we're going to start with the Crossman Premiers. Now, why am I shooting these? Because they're super affordable and you can buy them at Walmart. <laughs> um, they're like available, right? So let's see how they do. Um, I'm not generally a fan of these because I have seen them have some sizing issues, but hey, you never know. Let's see how they do. They might surprise me. Uh, I am not going to change hold. I'm going to aim dead center for every shot group. That way we can get an idea of um, how the point of impact changes based on the projectiles we're shooting. We'll do 10 shot groups with each. And that should give us some really good data going forward. All right. So let's take a look. Top left. Uh, let's see where she hits. And let's make sure we're connected. Connect. Uh -huh. Good thing I checked. All right, here we go. First group. Did not capture that. We were moving, that was moving pretty fast. Um, that may be going faster than the crony can pick up. Let's see. <sighs> um, profile. This one, let's do edit. Um, Let's do that, uh, and we are, yeah, I mean, this is going to be the max I can get out of it. Uh, if it doesn't pick it up, well, unfortunately, that may be it. Our 10.3s were pushing you know, over a 1,000 at times, so we may not be able to get this on. So we're just going to do the best we can. Um, let's connect again. Okay, here we go. 1,102. Yep, okay. Uh, it's moving. 1,051. 1,039. 1,046. 1,000. 46 1046 1048 1051 1048 Okay um 19 foot pounds 19 and a half foot pounds um yeah, if I was going to shoot those, I definitely want to turn it down a little bit. Let's switch to the 8.4 JSBs. Let's check our pressure in our reg, too. Get that. Ah, come on, don't bind up on me. There it is. Okay, so our pressure is just under 4,000 PSI, and our reg is right around 2. So <clears throat> what it did last time is it settled into, like, 2,000 PSI on the reg, and that's, if that, that's fine for me. In a 177, that's perfect. Actually, it's still a little hot, actually. So we're going to need to change, let's save that string. And we'll change our profile. Let's see how she does here. Are we connected? We are connected. I've got, yeah, we should be ready to go. All right, so dead center. Let's see how she does. 
settled in there. Let's check our pressure and our rag again. Okay. Our rag's at two, so that hasn't changed. That's good. And our pressure is like 30, 37. So doing that's doing really well. Now we're going to go to the 10 threes. I'll save this string and reset. All right, here we go. Pounds. Those did well. Those did really. I thought they did really well last time around too. I had a couple kind of get away from me, but yeah, there's a there's a whole core of them sitting right there in the bullseye, which is nice. Okay. Next, we're gonna try our first slug. These are 10.03. I think I did save it. I'll save it one extra time just in case. Um, and let's get this profile swapped out. Okay. Uh, pressure is. A 31 maybe 30 and we're still right at two so the reg is nice and locked in at two which is cool oops all right first slugs one if these shoot well gosh that's gonna be awesome oh yeah those went in a little bit a little chunky make sure we're connected all right, here we go. Uh, 10.03 slugs, bottom left. 1,000. Wow. 965. 967 965 967 967 967 Okay. Well, I was just rolling. Do we have did I miss one? That's 9. I thought I had one more. I'm going to shoot one more. I don't know if that was nine or 10, but I only have nine on the crony. And I thought I had one more. 979. Okay. Those shot very well. Um, yeah. I mean, that's a scope adjustment and that slugs shooting really very well. Okay, let me save that string. Okay, now we're gonna move over to this column. We're gonna shoot the right side. I've got some H and N's. That's some field target trophies. I've got Barracuda Match. I've got some 13 grain JSB Monsters. And I've got the 13 grain Knockout Slugs. So 
let's go ahead and get this edited. Gosh, it should, I wish, okay, uh, FX, if you're watching, <laughs> app developers, um, if, if you've already saved a string and you hit save it again, it'd be really cool if it said, hey, you've already saved this, are you sure? That'd be really nice. Okay, uh, let's check our pressure and our reg. Our pressure is right at three, and our reg is right at two. The reg has definitely settled down in the sense of it, uh, yeah, it's sort of locked right at two, which is perfect, 2000 BSI. Top right, uh, H&N, field target trophies, here we go. Fifty-three. That did not look stable. Nine. Okay. <clears throat> I think this prefers the heavier stuff at this power level. Now you can certainly dial it down and there's like this switch on the right uh, to transfer port adjuster where you could swap it to go um, between low and high. Now I'm going to save this. I do not need to save it again, right? Um, yeah, not great. Kind of all over. All right, let's switch to some heavier H&Ns. Okay, here we go. We still have plenty of air. Oh yeah, we only have 30 more shots. We're all doing this, guys. Remember, we're doing this off the single fill and we're still well above the reg, which is awesome. 942 946 946 944 944 okay. That's not too bad. 21 and some change foot pounds. Boy, some of those shots look like they were gonna be like just drilling the center and center and center and it kind of wandered a little bit, but not bad at all. Okay, we save this. Our next pellet is going to be the JFB Monster. These are 13.43. We'll do a new string. I could do that. That's how I could not double save it all the time. Do a new string immediately. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Let's get this loaded up. Let's check our pressure is sitting at, oh, oh, 26-ish. And we are at 2,000, so it is, the reg seems to have really locked in. That's awesome. Oh boy, these are heavy. Okay, next one down the list. Let's see where these hit. Um, let's make sure I'm connected. I am. Here we go. 909. 24.7 foot pounds. 886. Uh, drop to 23 foot pounds. 800, Okay, so a little more energy out of the heavy guys. 
I'm curious when we pull that target up, which one will have given us the best accuracy. That's going to be fun to see. All right, we got one more to go. We're right at two on the reg, and we've got just enough air for one more mag. All right, so we'll save the string, new string, profile, edit, and this will be JSB, and these are 13 and what? 13, 4, 3. Yeah, 13, these are 13, 4, 3. Okay, they're the same. Oh yeah, okay, those go in hard. All right, let's see what this does. Bottom target, uh, hopefully we don't fall off the paper. Let's see what we got here. Let me make sure I'm connected. Yep, here we go. 877. 865. I do not see where that went. 865. Uh, if we're drilling in the same hole, that would be scary. 863. 863. We are. Holy crap. 800, 861, 800, 61, 800, 58, 800, 63. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't even think we need to go get the target to know which did the best, but holy crap. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that's sub MOA. Sub MOA with slugs, and we're pushing 22 and some change. Um, I cannot even begin to say how impressed I am with that. Holy crap. I don't know, I'd have to get my micrometer out. That might be sub MOA. That, that is just 19 foot per second spread. Um, we're just under two on the reg, and we are just over two on that. So guys, that's 80 rounds on the reg. Let me go grab that paper. That, that I, I have to look at that, those slugs. That is, uh-uh. I thought I was like flying everywhere, but the group started just slowly opened up and yeah, holy crap. Let me go grab that. I'll be right back. <sighs> okay. So we have, um, some pretty decent groups. Let's, we're going to just, we'll get to this in a minute. These are pretty decent. This was the, uh, those are the, uh, Barracuda match. Um, the 10 threes, I had a couple kind of get away here that flew over here, but um, yeah, the core's pretty good. The other slugs, the 10 grade slugs shot pretty good. Uh, and I thought they were gonna be like, like the most impressive. Uh, but then we come to these and that is the size actually maybe smaller than my, my pinky fingernail guys. Um, 10 shots, uh, you guys, this is the, you guys are seeing uh, seeing it with me for the first time through um, and if those slugs shoot that well um, I don't know if I can if I can get the velocity up if, or if I even need to but they're gonna carry they are gonna carry like crazy if they keep that accuracy I cannot wait to get better condition to try and shoot gosh do my steel steel targets out to 100 see if we can hear it Tink. <laughs> I'm sure we will um, but that is just unbelievably impressive. Guys, that's the new Avenge X in 177. We have the barrel conversion for 22. We will be doing that whole uh, series of videos. We've got a lot to do. Well, I want to really do a bunch of Avenge X stuff through the, end of the, through the rest of the year. But I'm, I'm still trying to process that 10 shots with the 13 grain slugs and something the size of my pinky nail. Um, yeah, that's freaking awesome. Uh, if you had any questions about will the gun shoot, I think 
hell yeah, it'll shoot. Um, and I can only wait. I, I can only imagine what it's going to be like to get the 22 and the 25 conversions and run that through. Um, I, I said earlier, in either in this video or one of the other videos, I had requested the tactical stock. But the more I'm shooting this classic stock, the more I'm liking it. Um, I'm not a bullpup fan, so I just will skip that. Uh, well, I'll probably work with it just so we can show the conversion. But And maybe they'll surprise me. Maybe it'll be awesome. But the way this feels, the way this fits me personally, this new redesigned classic, mm, I'm kind of glad they didn't send the tactical. It is awesome. I can't wait to do more with this. We do have a lot more videos coming up, but son of a gun. That's pretty cool. 80 shots on the reg, and we finish it out with an astoundingly awesome 10-shot group. We are only shooting at 25 yards, but given the conditions today, that's what we need to do. It is also 177, so this is just impressive. Guys, we will do a lot more with this, so definitely stay tuned. I want to say a huge thank you to Pyramid Air for sponsoring Ergon Web and all the work that we do here. If you want, any, if you want to know anything about anything you got here on the table, we'll have all the links in the video description. You can get all of this stuff at pyramidair.com, just an awesome place to buy your air gun stuff. And if you want to help support what we're doing outside of normal sponsorships, check out our Patreon channel and also the Officers Club over at airgunarmy.com. Again, those links will also be in the video description. That's gonna be it. My name's Rick Utzer here with Airgun Web, your home for old school air gun reviews, and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks so much for watching.